be honest, I was a sugar. Out of all the diets I've ever tried, I think the one that was probably the worst for me was the no carb diet. Not eating carbs really cut out a lot of healthy foods for me, such as fruits and vegetables. And it cut out my main staple, rice, which being Asian, that is like every cell that I am made of. I think that it encompasses my whole being. I love rice and all types of rice dishes. So that was what was especially hard for me. Now that I've gone on all these different diets, I realized how illogical the no carb diet is. If you go into a grocery store, if you look around you, there's all these keto diets, paleo diets. But if you think about it, fruits and vegetables contain carbs and they're filled with nutrients nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that your body needs. So by cutting them out, you're doing your body, your health, your mind a disservice. A no-carb diet ups the ante on meat. And as we know, there's been a ton of research to show that eating a diet that is heavy on meat actually contributes to a lot of diseases and some cancers. So it didn't make sense that a lot of us believe that eating no carbs is the best way to eat, is the best way to lose weight and be healthy. That's a lot of meat. Mom, what are you buying this for? This is your red meat. It's super fatty. Not healthy, Mom. <laughs> Reduce your intake of red meat because it contributes to heart disease and cancer, especially colon cancer. So even though it tastes good, I try to limit red meat to twice a week. Processed meat, this is definitely something we shouldn't eat, but my mom's gonna try it anyway. What really helped me lose my weight and helped me maintain a healthy weight was not cutting out carbs, but it was actually reducing my added sugar intake. That changed everything for me. Sugar actually stimulates your appetite so that you eat more and you crave unhealthy foods. It causes chronic inflammation. It also raises your blood pressure, which is a risk factor for heart disease. It increases your risk of diabetes and fatty liver disease. Consuming whole foods that contain natural sugars is okay. And I think this is a misconception that a lot of people have. They think no carbs, low carbs, no sugar at all. But these naturally occurring sugars, your body can digest them more slowly. So they provide sustainable energy that doesn't give you that sugar crash like other foods that contain added sugars do. And on top of that, eating fruits, vegetables, and whole grains have been shown to reduce your risk of heart disease, heart disease, diabetes, and some cancers. It's actually good for you to eat these types of carbohydrates. Added sugar is the culprit. Usually with processed foods, sugar is added to increase the flavor or make the products last longer. So that is why I highly recommend avoiding or reducing your intake of processed foods. The thing that you need to watch out for is that sugar is in a lot of foods that aren't even sweet, such as bread. Sugar is like a drug and an addiction, so you will need to figure out ways 
to either reduce your intake or wean yourself off of sugar in order for you not to crave sugar as much anymore and that's what I had to do I was actually very addicted to sugar when I would eat sugar I would just crave more and when I wasn't eating sugar I was thinking about sugar and wanting more So my advice if you want to reduce your sugar intake and wean yourself off of your sugar addiction is to first get educated on what contains sugar. Read food labels. That's the most important thing. Anything in the produce section you don't need to worry about. They don't need food labels because it is what it is. If you see an apple, a banana, or vegetables, cucumbers, spinach, but if it's food on the shelf, read the ingredients they will usually contain a lot of sugar so it's good to be conscious of what you're buying and what you're consuming keto clusters let's see how healthy this is yeah a lot of sugar again i'm definitely against the low carb life it's no sugar cut your sugar intake supposedly healthy bars if you check the ingredients, there's a lot of sugar, honey, sugar, glucose syrup, um, natural flavor. It's been processed, it contains a lot of sugar, and it actually doesn't contain that many nutrients to fill you up. Costco has made a lot of really delicious snacks, and marketing has made these snacks seem healthy. Although they may say organic, it doesn't mean that it's healthy. You always need to check the labels. Um, let's see, this has a ton of sugar and it has different types of sugar. And so it ends up not being healthy even though it's organic. So check the food labels. My second tip for reducing your sugar intake is to just drink water, black coffee, or tea because these liquids don't contain any sugar whatsoever. When you drink sugar, they're calories you don't need and they're much less satisfying than sugar in foods that you consume. Sugar tends to stimulate your appetite even more and make you crave more sugar, so the less you consume, the better. First tip is to get educated, be conscious of what you're consuming, read food labels. Second tip is to just drink water as much as you can and if you need some sort of caffeine have straight green tea or black coffee my third tip would be to eat whole fresh foods and reduce or avoid processed foods processed foods tend to contain more added sugars and if you eat fresh whole foods you'll only be consuming naturally occurring sugars in fruits and vegetables and also eat at home if you cook your own meals you know exactly what's going into your food when we go out to eat which is inevitable sometimes you like to go out for a meal with your family and friends you don't know what's going in your food and they tend to add more sugar because it makes food taste better however if you're cooking more at home you'll be much more conscious of how much sugar you put into your food and when you're cooking at home you tend to cook foods with better ingredients than they would do at a restaurant because restaurants usually buy bulk foods and they use cheaper ingredients that may contain artificial ingredients that you're unaware of. My fourth tip is that if you do crave sugar and you want to have sweets such as cake, cookies, all the good stuff, try to have it with a hot cup of green tea. I notice that if I have a cake with something that balances it and cleans the palate, I can eat less of it and not crave more. And it's much more satisfying and it slows down the eating process so that I'm more mindful of what I'm eating. A cup of green tea makes the difference for me when eating sweets. And if you do crave sweets and you want a healthier option, I tend to like fruits. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries are my go-to. And I also like dark chocolate. The more cocoa content, the better. And I have dark chocolate with some almonds and a cup of green tea. After I reduced my sugar intake, I've noticed a lot of benefits. One, I crave less sugar, so therefore I eat 
only when I'm hungry. Number two, my skin is a lot better. I have acne prone skin. So when I eat foods that contain a lot of sugar, I can break out very easily the next day. You will also have more sustainable energy because when you eat a lot of added sugar, you tend to have sugar crashes and I'm feeling less tired and fatigued. So I'm more productive throughout my day as well and I'm in a better mood. I've noticed that when I do eat sugar, I can't sleep as well and as deeply at night so now that I've reduced my sugar intake I feel like I sleep like a baby and it makes a difference when you wake up the next day feeling refreshed after having a good night's sleep those are my tips for reducing your sugar intake and cutting your sugar addiction because I think that this is the best way to lose weight and maintain a healthy weight if you really want to be healthy this is the one ingredient I would try to cut out or reduce. I believe in moderation, so I am not perfect at this, but majority of the time I do try to make healthier choices. So I'm not telling you to cut out sugar completely because it's hard. It's in a lot of our foods. I believe that this is the one reason that helped me finally lose weight and changed my mindset on food and has made me the healthiest I've ever been. I am always researching and always experimenting ways to invest in health now so that we can prevent disease and illness in the future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. I actually love buying clothes at Costco. It's really comfortable and soft. It's good material, it's cheap. And there's actually stylish clothes. Here, I bought some leggings here, pajamas, sweaters, jackets. So a lot of my fashion comes from Costco.